Hi everyone and welcome to a Monday evening and we're back here together. So happy to have you joining us and we're going to do a little crafty creating together and we're going to use envelopes in what might be a new way for you as we explore some of the new things in the catalog. So um, I'm having a few people telling me that they're having a hard time getting their crafting mojo going. Um, I, I often find that way. I have a sister whose birthday is early January and I always have a hard time getting her birthday card done. For some reason making that switch from Christmas cards to all occasion cards, I don't know why, but it seems to be a tough thing to do. So if you are having a hard time getting your mojo, your crafting, um, your crafting, craftingness going, what is something you do to get it started? Uh, do you look at something? Do you do something? Um, so what do you do? Why don't you share that with us as we go down to my desk? All right. All right. Oh, I love it when you're all saying hi to everyone. I don't even have to tell you guys that. You're just so quick to welcome each other. And that is wonderful. All right. So let's see. I better get the computer going too, right? So are we having any solutions to uh, getting our crafting mojo going? Anybody got any ideas there? I am... I have a few people asking about it, so let's uh, see what we can come up with and maybe we can help each other out. Um, getting something new helps get me motivated. Yes, and that's one of the things I've got. I've been off to a roll this January, and I think it's because I had new things and I was getting ready. I not just not past tense. I still am. Um, but I'm getting ready for Stampy's Staycation. So I think that also helps. If the, you get new things and uh, something to work on, you get a little excited. So um, and, and let's, uh, I haven't had a chance to read the comments, but I'm looking forward to seeing what you say helps you to get your mojo going. One of the things for me is looking at the samples in the catalog. And sometimes that's what what does it for me as well. So hi everyone. Um, as you can tell, this is the suite that we're going to be looking at tonight. It's in the new mini catalog. And uh, those of you who picked them at the, up at the door, you've got them. Those of you who had them mailed to you, they were a little slow in the mail um, because of the Christmas rush. So, um, but I've Mine arrived on Friday, and I had some people message me today that theirs arrived today, and uh, so it, the, it happy mail is there. So one of the first things, um, so whoa, look at that! I got so carried away with my uh, catalog, I sent the camera flying. Judy looks at ideas on Pinterest. Yes, yes, there's tons of ideas there, and that's always inspirational. And I, one of the things I do often when I'm looking to get my mojo back is when I find something, I look for something simple just to have success right off. And then I usually am going. So uh, that also helps. But back on track here. Uh, this suite is called Sweet Talk. And um, it, you might look at it and think, oh, it's all Valentine's. But I find that Valentine's product is also perfect for weddings, engagements, anniversaries, and all kinds of other things. So when we talk about a suite, in case you're not familiar, um, down here you'll see Sweet Talk Sweet. No, Sweet Sweet Talk. So this is a suite. So everything here it means that if you like everything on this page instead of entering every number separately you can enter it with one number right here and this if you get everything on this page and I'll be showing you quite a bit of it tonight it comes to $117.50 well guess what celebration is happening and so if you got uh, this you would qualify well, you could add just a little bit more to make it 120 and you could qualify for either two of the $60 level 
or you could um, get one of the $120 levels. So I'll be sharing that later. So this is what I'm talking about tonight. Now remember, there are samples elsewhere in the catalog and one sure spot to find it is when they, in the index. So here's another sample here. So let's see what I'm doing because we're going to use envelopes in a different way. So first off, you need two envelopes. Then um, some other things that you're going to need. Um, two pieces of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock. I went with the real red, so we've got that. One piece, or pardon me, two pieces of four and a quarter by five and five eighths. And I'll explain why that. And again, two pieces. Then we're going to bring in some of the designer paper from that suite and we need four of these and these are all three by four. So let's take a look at the designer paper from that suite. So the designer paper has um, all different colors in it. So you purple lovers, this there's lots of good stuff here. These are the colors that coordinate. Who would have thought of putting granny apple green in there for one thing? Um, I'm putting purple and red and some of these colors together. So, and you'll notice that one side is more hearty or candy or whatever, and the other side is more generic. So you could use it all season long. So you can see that happening there. The other neat thing is that um, the paper, some of the papers, you can bring in the dies and they cut out some of those hearts so that the stamp set is where did I put the stamp set um, it's somewhere around I will find it but the sweethearts dies um, th this is what they look like and some of the dies I've just got these little templates here but look at they cut out like that heart and here's a skinny one it would cut out that one and here's another size heart and you could cut out that one there and then there's this paper and the same thing this would cut out with a little bit of a, a border here this would cut out this remember the candy hearts that we get sometimes in the boxes I never liked the taste of them but I always loved looking at the words um, and so they cut out the designer paper. So once again, Stamping Up has the coordination down beautifully. So that is some of the designer paper. You can see that's on the back and I'm just going to get that out of the way. Also, they cut out just tons of hearts. So you get the outline and then the insert part. There's this cute little envelope which we're going to use tonight. There's some uh, tags and banners. So there are all kinds of things in that die package. So back to what I was talking about here. Three pieces, three by four, or, pardon me, four pieces that are three by four of the designer paper. Then we've got two pieces of cardstock that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And, um, and then two that are in real red that are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So they're the same size and I could have made them all the same if I wanted. I wanted a little variety. Oh, Roz, I, I'm, I'm so excited about you having them all. That's excellent. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to go down to the envelopes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make what I call an envelope train. This time it's only going to be two envelopes fastened together. I have done and taught projects in the past where I've had five or a whole team or a whole class. Each person had an envelope fastened together and we made a book. But tonight we're just going to use two envelopes. Now this is something that would work well for um, Valentine's, but not just Valentine's. It makes a wonderful gift for any time and you could adapt it with your papers and that kind of thing. So the first flap here, I'm just going to put adhesive on it. I'm putting it right where you would lick and then I'm going to put it down here because I want to have the whole flap fastened. And then I'm bringing in the next envelope so you can see that I'm just bringing it so the smooth side is here, bringing it up to the fold and bringing that down 
and I've just joined them together. And what I've done is made little pockets, right? Now for this flap here, we don't need it. So we're going to fold it back. I'm going to use my bone folder and give it a good burnish. And we're going to glue that down like that. And you're saying, well, what about where you lick on that one? Not to worry, we're going to cover it up. That's what one of those papers is for. So now we've got our basic little card or book or gift. It can be whatever you want. So um, now we're going to, so the pockets are on this side. We're going to flip it over and this is the back. And this is why it's five and five eighths because I wanted just a tiny bit of white. Now you could have made it five and a half and a bit more here, but I found that it was so hard to be exact that it was always overhanging a little bit. So you could change that all you that you want, but that's the measurement that I liked to work with. So I chose black because I'm using that designer paper and black is one of the coordinating colors. So if you're making this and choosing different paper, you don't have to, of course, stick with black. Choose something that works for you. If it's springy, like the daffodil paper, might be one of the greens or the yellows or anything like that. So it, this is like putting the cover on the book here. There we go. So we've got that. We're going to put it here. Just like that. Trying to get a nice, even border. Oh, I forgot to share the winner. I'll remind me at the end to share the winner from last week, the person whose name was drawn. So now we've got, it looks like a card. It's black with a little white trim. We open it up, we have our pockets. So now what? Now we're going to bring in a ribbon and we're going to fasten it on first because that's how we're going to hold it closed. So I've got about two feet of ribbon, 24 inches of ribbon, and this is that nice ribbon that's found on that, in that same suite. It is called a linen ribbon. It's nice and soft. It, it's so wonderful to work with. So I know that I am putting, um, I am putting something over top of here. So I can put adhesive here, hold my ribbon in place, and be done with it. So I'm just putting a bit of seal down. I'm taking my ribbon, finding the halfway mark, and draping it on the fold, letting it hang down, and just stick there. So now I've got that like that. Now we're going to bring in, put these to the side, two of these and my two black, no, pardon me, my two red pieces. And I'm going to glue them together. So let's do that. Some adhesive on this one and some adhesive on this one, like that. And the, the red was three and a quarter by four and a quarter where the designer paper was three by four. So there's your nice little quarter inch increment there. So we're putting that there. Doesn't this the red just make the red suckers pop? If you can't see, those are little red and pink suckers on here. So Valentine suckers. So we've got that one there. Lollipops, I guess we could say, or something like that. There we go. So we've got those glued down like that. Now we're going to just put this over top. So it's just like a layer on a card. So far, that's how it's going together. So we could have put it on dimensionals, but I chose not to. So we'll just do it that way. Like that. And I'm going to cent try to center it anyway. Try to get it straight. I don't have to have it straight. I could have had it a little, you know, I could have put it like that if I wanted. Now we're going to do the same on the back. Just bring the ribbon across, put adhesive on here. You see how quickly this is going together? And I think you're going to like the result. And there we go. Just like that. So now we have it so that it will go like this. We've got our pockets on the inside and 
let's go on to the next step. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to bring these pieces in. So they are the same sizes as the ones we just did. So let's layer them up. I'm going to bring my mat in so you can see the papers a little bit better. And there we go, like that. And like that. Center it down. Whoops, got it going crooked there. There we go, we've got it like that. Now they're going to go on the inside and they're going to go on the outside of our envelope pockets. So let's fasten them down. And we're going to have the basics almost done. So we'll put this one here. This project is, is really a flashback from the past. I have made it many years ago. And at the end, I'm going to show you a couple of the projects I made doing this same idea. So there we go. We're going to do what's going inside well, we might, might as well do it right now. So that's what the real red is for. These are four and a quarter by five and a half. So in other words, they're a quarter sheet of cardstock and they're going to slide in here and in here, but we're going to decorate them just a little bit. So I've got a few things ready here. We're going to bring in, I just did a couple of circles and folded it in half, this one, and so I, what I did, because cardstock is a little tougher to fold, if I'd used um, designer paper, it would have folded bit, a little easier, but if you soften the fibers, then, um, there we go, I just glanced up and saw you watching in anticipation, Carolyn, that made me laugh, because it's always, you know, an interesting thing, you never quite know what I'm going to do, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this about here. It just helps people know that they're supposed to pull, right? So we'll let that set up a bit and we'll do this one here. There we go. And I'm going to put this one a little lower down so there's a little variety. There we go. So this one is going to pop in here like that and you're saying well what what's the big deal with those I'll I'm going to explain what goes on those later all right so you hang in there I will explain now we could leave that as is but remember I said how many that that those dies cut out all kinds of little hearts and we've got these so now decisions decisions do I put a little pink heart on there or a little red heart? Or do I do one of each? Pink, red, or one of each? What do you think? Let me know there. Pink, red, or one of each? Lori's curious. Oh, I'm go I love getting people curious. We'll, you'll find out. Pink is the first one I've said. I saw. I think somebody said one of each, but I see pink. Okay, we'll go with pink. There we go. Now, when I have fine or little tiny embellishments like that, I often just put my glue down first and then go like that and then use my take your pick tool, pick up the embellishment and put it on top of the glue. I used to try to put the glue on the little die cut and of course it was a big pain. And I think I need to get some more putty going here. And so I find it easier for the little things to put it down first. Let's put the glue down. So now I could have stamped here or I could stamp on um, some strips of paper and put here, but uh, we're just going like that. So we've got the inside, other than what's going on those pieces done. Let's 
work on the outside now. Now on the outside, we can do whatever we want here, but there is um, a die set that I am just loving in the new mini catalog. It's called Beautiful Shapes, and it has circles and hex hexagons and then these little things like that. And I don't know if you can tell, but some of the dies also do little embossing as they cut. And I am just in, thoroughly, thoroughly in love with these dies. Let me just show you what they look like when they're cut out. So there's, here's the one here. Can you see the, uh, the etching that's in it? And then regular circles. Some of these match up with the layering circles and some would layer with them beautifully. Then there are these hexagons. Have you noticed that um, geometric shapes are big? in the design and style world right now. And we've, at Stamping Up, we've got these, we've got um, triangles, we've got the circles, all kinds of wonderful things. And then there are these here as well. So this comes as part of a bundle or you can buy it by itself, but we're going to use this right here tonight, but then I'll show you a few other things made. Uh, this is your number one. Oh, it was one of it was one of my top ones, I have to admit, and I got it right away. So here is the circle we're using, and we're going to it's going to go there, but we're going to build on here before we put it on. So we'll tuck that aside. We've got this. Now I used the little envelope die. Where did I put it? From this set here, the little envelope die here, and you can cut it out of designer paper or you can cut it out of cardstock. You can cut it out of anything, but tonight I decided to cut it out of vellum. So, and it's going to pop on here like that. So, um, I am going to just bring in a glue dot, which I have, here they are, and close that up. So when you cut this out, it looks like, like that. And then you just fold in the sides and the bottom. And if you wanted, you could fold in the top too. But we want the top open. So we'll do this. And just fasten that down with a glue dot. And you might say, well, Lillian, what about the glue dot showing in the vellum? I have a plan. There we go. So now we've made our little envelope. And our plan is that we're going to bring in one of these red hearts and stick it into a glue dot and glue it right on top. Doesn't that just dress up that envelope? I just love it. There we go. So there and now I have one of the hearts cut out from the designer paper. You can see it's designer paper and it's going like that. And I had one already cut out here to uh, show you and guess what I've lost it so let me just see I am just going to whip over and cut one more it was a red one I will just cut one more so just hang tough And here we go here. So let's see, it's going on here. Yeah, I think we will have it coming like, like that. Yeah, that looks fine to me. So I'm going to act again, put these on with glue dots, just because we're working on vellum and glue dots are just easy to work with. And I'm going to just rest it so that if I want to pl play with the placement a little bit, I still can. Because I, I want them to be different heights and that kind of thing. There we go, just like that. And then I'm going to put it on there. And now this is vellum, so what I'm going to do is put glue dots where there is something else that will hide the glue dots. So I'm putting one glue dot behind where that little heart was that's holding it closed, and another glue dot 
behind these hearts, just like that. And do you know what? I'm not going to put it on there till I fasten that down because that will help me know my placement a little bit. I'm going to put this on dimensionals. So ooh, I'm just finishing off this sheet of dimensionals here. Did you know you can just tear your dimensionals? I often cut them, but you can tear them easily when you're working with those edge pieces and they work just like everything else, right? So there we go. We're putting this down, oh, about here. And now, how do we want, do we want the envelope going this way, that way? Oh, maybe that way. We'll, we'll just go for it and like that. And then we need, you know, a few embellishments. And there is, there are some gorgeous embellishments in that suite. And they are called the Iridescent Rhinestones. And you've seen me use these a few times. They seem to catch whatever light is going and they're just gorgeous. Um, so let's see. Oh, we'll put put one right there. And maybe one on the heart. And you can see it's a scientific experiment. I just put the, them on the end of my take your pick tool and travel till it looks like it's a good spot to me. You might do it in a totally different spot. So now we have the, the front done. Let's take a look at the inside. What can we do with these? Let me just share some ideas. One thing you could do is you could put a glue dot on the back of a gift certificate and, and have that on one side. Um, another thing you could do is you could, um, before you glued this down, you could slide this, or you could make this smaller, and you could do a regular card kind of thing. What I have often done with this is put a photo on one side, and then journaling on the other side, or a message. For example, if it was a team or a class, the, the person could put their photo on one side, and then on the other side, what they appreciated about their coach or something like that. I know that often I make gifts like this for my husband and he never throws them out. He keeps them and they're on display because there are pictures involved and that kind of thing. So you could do any of that type of thing on here. Let me just show you what I have done in the past a little bit. Oh, first off, let's finish this off and make it look so pretty. So I call this an envelope card or a um, book or a gift because it could be um, any one of these things and Linda you said I'm clever I actually I this idea has been around a long time and I just copy really well that's where I get my mojo is copying other inspired people or maybe even copying one of my own projects and that's what I did with this this is a project I did I don't know how many years ago um, if we can figure out when that designer paper was around. So this was done more for a Mother's Day or something like that. And then I um, stamped in here that kind of thing and I used embellishments on here like that. So there, there is, that's where I got the idea for this. So look at your own projects. You might just find something that inspires you. Um, when my kids got engaged, which was, they've been married 10 years so uh, we made something like this but this is what I was talking about how you could turn it into a book because this is the the um, I've done classes uh, many many classes on this I've also used it many times for other things because you can make it as big as you want so here you can, here you can see there are um, envelope there are pictures on the um, where we put the um, designer paper so you can add, so there are pictures here you can always substitute and put pictures there there are pictures here um, and so this is got one two three four different envelopes just a sec no five different envelopes like that 
So you can make it as long as you want. So if you had, say for example, if you were making it with your grandchildren or with your children and you were going on a trip, they could have an envelope for each day of their trip or something like that. Um, Sue, so you remember, yes, you were part of the group that made these. Um, so, for, so for those of you who are wondering, this is my daughter and son-in-law, and this is my son and daughter-in-law. So these are the ones that live overseas. So um, now let me just uh, share a few little bit more show and tell. Remember I mentioned that if you bought that whole suite, and added just like three dollars more stuff, um, you would have qualify for what a one hundred twenty dollar level of uh, celebration. For those of you who are new, celebration is an opportunity to earn free stuff, and we all love free stuff. So in the first part of the book has like this stamp set. If you spend sixty dollars, you can choose any of these sixty dollar ones right and then it comes over to this section here and if you spend 120 you could get two $60 ones or you could get this is a 121 so you get the designer paper yes it's 12 by 12 a full package and this great stamp set and let me show you something neat about this stamp set this stamp right here it actually can stamp over top of here and make it a black image and then you can even color it if you want so this paper is designed that you can use the stamps right on the designer paper if you so choose and this is the other side of it there so you can see that i use two sides of the same designer paper here and the stamp set plus there's some great words um, in here as well so that's one of the 120 options the other option for uh, if you spend, oh, there's a glare, 120 is this set of words. And we can never have too many words. And look at all the words that are in here. There are just tons. So we could, I was actually going to use some of these words on that envelope book, but I didn't know what I was going to use it for. So I didn't, but just so so many things uh, just a card to say you're amazing i couldn't wait for a special occasion um i have something for you sympathy where would i be uh, where would i be without a friend like you there are there's congratulations happy birthday so there's the standard things you need and then just some everyday wonderful types of things so um just a heads up about that and now I wanted to share a few more projects I made with the Sweet Talk Suite. Um, so what this one here, um, I cut use that tag die that comes with the, it and then cut some hearts out. And this now to me, this could be a baby card because it's so nice and soft. Or it could be for any other uh, type of thing. This one I have shown you before. But I'll just remind you because it just showcases the paper so nicely. So it's just a card made with the designer paper. This one here uses I Love You from one of the new sets in the um, in the mini catalog. And then we've made the envelope out of cardstock here. And then here's the linen ribbon. So yes, yeah, so many fabulous celebration items. You're right, Roz. They're amazing. Now, how did I get these? These are actually from the annual catalog. Let me just, um, where did I put it? Oh, here they are. It's a, a bundle of dies. So they're the narrow dies. So you get two in a bundle and they're called dotty hearts. So there's this one here and then there's this one. So I did this one here. It shows up so nicely on uh, paper, but you might say, well, that's does not wide enough. But I found that I could run it through twice and the jo join actually wasn't all that noticeable. I think one of my lights just burnt out. Um, but then this divide, this hid the join if it bothered you anyway. So there's, that's one of the dotty hearts. And then this is the other one. So gorgeous, gorgeous things there. And then I used the hearts from this 
the same bundle that we were talking about and just cut some black pieces of cardstock, put it on the heart and home designer paper that has the um, wood grain on the back and like that. You missed those embossing folders. I for I missed them too. And then I saw somebody use them and I thought, where did they find those? And they're in the annual catalog. They've been here forever and I didn't even know about them. So you never you never know. There's always a new thing to find, right? And then some of you have been following me on Facebook and um, I am in love with this little robot. So here I've used him on a little treat holder here. And I don't know if you can see, but I use the sparkly crystal effects here. I've got a class this weekend, so it's all it's in the bin for that. But that's that. And then remember, I was talking about those um, beautiful shapes dies. These ones here. Well, I've got a couple of samples. I've got more, but um, so this was made with that. This was totally cased from the catalog. So this is one of the places I get my mojo is I look at the catalog and case it. And then this little robot is back. The stamp set is called Nuts and Bolts. Now I wanted to point out something. This paper and this paper, this is the back of this paper. And look at how different it looks. So you're saying, where is that paper? It's abstract beauty. And this, this, and this comes from that. This, it was black and white, and I just colored it a little bit there. So those are just a few samples to whet your appetite. But this, I think, has so much potential for so many different occasions. And one of, there's one other place you can get your mojo back is if you go and visit things like Stamping Staycation. It's an online creative retreat and you will definitely have your mojo back after that. All right, whether you're watching in real life time or you're watching uh, later, watching the rerun, remember to leave a comment because your name gets then entered for a draw for what I made tonight. So your name will get entered for this draw here. And um, last week's card was this. This one here, and Karen Y, your name was the one that came, um, showed up when we did the random draw. So Karen, I will be sending this to you. So, oh, I'm seeing lots of love for this project. Guys, make it and then um, share it uh, underneath this video. We, and then we'll all be able to, to see your ideas. So have some fun. I had fun with this. And remember, you can even case your own projects from the past. All right, take care. Thanks, everyone. Oh, I forgot. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button because that will help me immensely. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm a ways away yet, but I'm getting closer all the time. So thank you so much, everyone. Take care and have fun creating. Bye-bye.